Hello and welcome back to On The Workbench. Today we're taking a look at this product from Schumacher. This is an OBD2 battery memory saver. So this is designed to help save any presets in your car when you have to disconnect your battery. This uh, very clearly says it here. I give them props, made in China. So it's picked up recently as a accessory to be able to have on hand when I need to change batteries out. So in the box, you get a manual and the tool itself. So looking at the tool, we've got basically two ends on it. We've got a 12 volt end here that would go into a 12 volt power source, such as another vehicle. Or if you've got a jump pack, you could plug it into that. Or anything else that'll give you 12 volts. And then the other end is a standard OBD2 connection port. So first thing, if you've got older cars that don't have OBD2, this won't work on them unless you've got the right adapter. And even then that's not guaranteed, uh, depending upon where power comes in uh, on those ports. And then we've got what is almost a foolproof setup here. Step one to connect. Step two, verify connection on the other end, the OBD2 port. And then verifying that it's all put together there. When it gives you a little green check mark to proceed, it's almost, almost idiot proof. So a couple of little obvious tips here. Number one, do not plug this actually into the cigarette lighter on your car. <laughs> that would uh, be kind of pointless because, well, you're gonna be disconnecting the battery, so that won't work. Uh, number two, make sure you've got the radio and anything else that might be drawing power turned off. Uh, it's not gonna be very successful if you're also trying to run the lights, the radio, the AC, or anything else to fan uh, while this is going on. The whole point of this is basically to save your radio presets, uh, seated memory presets, and any other uh, settings that might need to be saved uh, as part of your engine computer when you need to do a battery swap. Uh, it's not designed to be able to power your car while it's off or really to jumpstart your car either. This is just a temporary solution while you're changing the battery. So now we'll take a quick look at this and hook this up in a Saab. We're now inside my 06 Saab 93, and I have the Schumacher device connected to my 12 volt power source, uh, which is currently switched off. And then I have the OBD2 port here and so the first thing I'm gonna do, step one, is I'm gonna turn on the power on my 12 volt power source, which is not connected to the car. And if you see here, this light turns an amber yellow color. And then I can go on to step two, which is to connect the OBD2 cable. And we'll plug that in. Over there. And if your vehicle supports it, like this one does, you'll see this will turn green, saying it's okay to proceed and disconnect the battery. There are some vehicles that do not support this tool. And then you'll get a light here that will say do not proceed. So this almost makes the process idiot proof. I mean, there's obviously gonna be ways you can screw this up, but it's just that simple. Now it's okay for me to disconnect the battery, but just pay special attention that you don't uh, let the battery cables float loose or touch something they're not supposed to because the chassis uh, and those cables are now energized backwards through the OBD2 port. Uh, so just be very mindful of that. And so we got this very simple process here. And then uh, the easiest way to disconnect this, once you got the battery in place and everything's hooked back up, is just to shut down your power source, which for me, I can do with just a simple flip of the switch like that. And with that off, you can see that it shows that it's still connected because now it's drawing off the battery. And it says do not proceed because, well, it's not connected to the power source. So you can see if your power source battery dies, which I manually turned mine off here, you'll see it'll say do not proceed. But if I turn it back on, it flips back over to proceed and we're good to go. Hopefully you're able to see that and the light wasn't making that too blurry. Uh, so there is several layers of what we'll call idiot proofing built into this device. And for just a few bucks, I think this definitely saves uh, some time and problems when it comes to switching out batteries on cars and especially in some of these newer cars where the modules and everything else needs to be memorized and saved or reset or relearned after you change the battery. Particularly if you've ever had to change a battery right before someone has to do emissions testing and then they got to complete that full drive cycle before they can pass their emissions testing. Um, this tool gets you uh, out of trouble and will allow you to change that battery with ease. Uh, for only just a, what 
is just a few bucks on Amazon to pick this up. Uh, very easy to use and something simple that easily belongs in your toolbox. If you've got one of these, put it down below. I'll put a link if you want to pick up this one too, uh, down below as well in the descriptions. Any other thoughts or comments? I'd love to hear about it. Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Give this a thumbs up if you like this kind of content. I'll see you back here soon and have a great day. Bye. If you're still here and you've got cobalt batteries like I do, guess what? My power source I'm using here is actually powered by cobalt.